Hey, what's good, everybody? Hey, you know what? Let me just start this off. I always say that. I'm going to start this one off by saying, uh, you know what? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas to everybody. And check it out. We're getting ready to do a green bean casserole. Listen, this is so easy. And we got to change things up, you know, from the, from the Thanksgiving holiday, right? So with that being said, I want you guys to come on in here and take a look at this right here. Listen. You can see it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? And again, I like to tell everybody, just because it doesn't have a lot of ingredients, doesn't mean it's not gonna be over the top, right? So look, I'm gonna go ahead and start by just showing my dish. This is the dish that we gonna serve. This, look at this, this is nice. It's Christmas time, you got your family, you wanna put something out that's nice, elegant, and fly. So that's that. Look, kosher salt, butter, chicken broth, heavy cream, and then you know we got your star, right? We finna get down like grandma used to do, cause we got to snap, peel, pull the string, and snap, right? So we got that, we got Italian, you know, seasoning, garlic cloves, parm, you gotta have that bacon, and you know you gotta have a little bit of garnish, right? This is, uh, it's really up to you how you wanna do it, cause it's already green. Now, with that being said, let's get it. See that line right there? You come here, you just snap it a little bit, you peel it, and sometimes this little string will come out, and it'll come out through there, right? I do it on both sides, I just snap both, and then I just snap, you know, I, there you go, just like that. If anything wants to come off, you can do that. Now I gotta do that for all of these. Let me get myself another bowl so I can show you. I'm gonna show you one more time until I can get it right so you guys can see, and then we are gonna go ahead and snap them down. Once that's done, I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so look, again, we are gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna try to get it so you guys can see. You can see that little line right there? So I like to break it from the bottom, right? And then I kinda like pull it. Sometimes, I don't know if you guys can see that. You see that little string right there? That'll come off, right? So I take that, I always hit the end of it too. Now look, here's another good example. When you do that, look, you just go ahead and pull this as far as it'll go. And then what you do is snap it. That's it right there. Them is perfectly ready. They fresh and they ready to go, right? You even heard the snap. That's what you wanna hear when you pop them and they snap, pow, that's when you know they nice and fresh, right? So I'm gonna put a little heat on it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna start off with my butter inside. You know what I mean? As soon as this melts, you know what I mean? Then we're gonna go ahead and add, you know, our minced garlic, you know, get it nice and fragrant. Then we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken stock. Okay, so you see it's melting nice and slow, not burning nothing. Now I'm getting ready to load up my garlic press, right? For those of you guys that's new, I'll tell you right now, me loading this garlic press up makes me happy. It's something about using a garlic press, you know what I mean? Uh, just, I don't know what it does for me, but it puts a smile on my face. Let me just go ahead and keep my mouth shut and let you guys look right there. I just put four cloves in. Look at that right there. Nothing like it. Oh man, you can just smell it. Now you wanna make sure you control your heat, right? Cause you don't wanna burn your garlic. And along with this butter, what you're doing is releasing the flavors inside the butter. And this right here is nice. So this only needs to move around. You know what I mean? At this low temperature that I got it on here. This is like a low flame, folks. You know what I mean? Oh man, the aromatic off of that. I know everybody out there, you guys all love the smell of butter and garlic, right? So now I'm getting ready to go ahead after about a minute. You know what I mean? That's it right there. We don't want to burn it. I'm gonna start introducing, you know, my broth. Now we're gonna bring that up to a simmer. While that's coming back up to a simmer, I want you guys to look. I'm starting to preach this in all of my videos because I want everybody to get it. And this is what makes it cooking a little bit easier, right? So I wash my dishes as I go. Make yourself some soapy water. You know what I mean? As you get through with, you know, your dishes, if you wash as you go, when you're done, check it out. When you're done cooking, your dishes are washed, kitchen is clean, and everybody's happy. You can see it right there, it's starting to like simmer. Look, now we're gonna go ahead and add our cream to it our heavy cream, you know what I mean? And listen, we just changing up, you know, from the holiday, you know, from Thanksgiving, we just want to make something, you know, nice, different, you know what I mean, over the top with flavor, you know what I mean, and not the same old, same old. So we'll let that come up to a simmer. Okay, so look, you see how it's starting to get frothy right there? Look, we're not trying to cook this and make this like super, super thick, right? I just let it go for about five or six minutes, you know what I mean, at like a, a medium flame, right? You know what I mean? I want it to thicken up just a little bit. I might let it go a little bit longer just to get a little bit more of the thickness. But right here is good. While it's doing this right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add my seasoning, right? We're gonna still continue to reduce this down just a little bit more, right? Then I'm gonna hit it with just a pinch of salt. Boom, maybe two pinches. That's it right there. 
And then, you know, of course, folks, you know I'm gonna do this. I ain't no need playing with it. Got to add that pepper to it, All right? Then I'm probably gonna let this go for about, I don't know, I'm gonna say another three or four more minutes. But what we wanna do is just get everything incorporated. Okay, folks, you see that right there? This is far as I wanna go, right? I don't wanna go no further. This right here is really, really nice, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat off, right? So you'll see it'll start to simmer, settle down, you know, because we got no heat underneath the bottle. And one thing I should have said a long time ago is, listen, we wanna preheat our oven because I'm getting ready to put this in the oven to 400 degrees, you know? So now you get to see the thickness. That right there is nice. When you can pull it across that way and it just takes its time coming back, this is what you want. I know you guys can see the flavor, you know what I mean? Because you can see the seasoning. You know, we hit it with that salt to wake it up just a little bit. We put that pepper in there like we always do with all of our dishes, right? Now check this out. Now we're going to grab our green beans. We just want to go ahead and add these to it. Now when you look in there, look, just take your spatula and move this around. There's enough heat in there for everything to be coated. You see the flavor, right? You see it on there right now? We're going to put this in that oven. You know what I mean, at that 400 degrees and work with it from there. Look at that right there. I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to get, I don't know, like antsy, you know what I mean? Because I know we finna make some magic, folks. Right? So look, let me just pull this over here. Hey, and if you guys ain't got one of these, check out this Euro stand. Love it. You know what, this is way different than what my mama had on the stove because she had a big giant spoon. You can lay like five or six spoons in there, but the footprint on the stove was big. Look at how they got them now. Boy, I tell you how, when you smart, that's how it works. And not to be cheesy, but listen, these are very, very inexpensive. If you guys like these, you can find this down. Look down in the description box, you'll see my Amazon link, and I'll probably post one of these uh, links inside the number one comment. So look, this is starting to get hot. Let me go ahead and get my pot holders. All right, now that I got these here, look, this is the dish, this is oven safe, and this is what I'm gonna serve in, right? So now I'm just gonna go ahead and just start adding these in here like this. You see all of that goodness on there? You can see some of that garlic in there. Oh man, this right here is right. I can tell you, just when you smell it right now, we not even done, that's fire. Now, I know you guys seen this bacon over here. I got a place for that too. And some of you guys make the casseroles where you do the onion straws and all of that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna top this with the Parmesan and all of that, right? So, my oven is up to temp. I'm a, like I said, I got an oven safe uh, dish. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here right now. Listen, you wanna put it in for about 15 or 20 minutes. I'm gonna look at it after 15 minutes. Okay, so look, now we're getting ready to go ahead and prep the bacon, you know, while it's in the inside, of, you know, while we got our beans inside of the oven, right? So you can cut these in whatever size strips you have. You got a lot of bacon, you know what I mean? Uh, that's up to you, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm using bacon for flavor, and I'm gonna be using it for a little bit of, the, you know, that garnish too. Everything looks and tastes better with that bacon, folks. We take this out. I just looked at the green beans. They looking nice. I'm a little bit past 15 minutes. I think I'm somewhere right around like 18 minutes to be honest with you, but they looking right. I'm getting ready to take those out as soon as I'm done here. We finna put this bacon inside of there. Look at that right there, folks. After letting it go for five more minutes, right? I'm gonna go ahead and bring it out here like this. Let me go ahead and stop this, right? You know that's nice and hot, but look at that right there, folks. What does that say to you? Ooh wee. All right, so you know that's nice and hot. Now it's up to you. If you want to leave that in there longer, you can. It depends on how soft you want your green beans to be, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just take some of this like this and just put these in here. You know, some of this bacon. I'm gonna do this, cause look, this is what I'm getting ready to, you know, mix in, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and bring my spatula back. You know, bring that back to the party. And now you guys get a chance to see it. You know how it's starting to come along. I'm not gonna lie to you, listen, I'm gonna tell you some level ups that I could have done, like what my grandmama did. For Christmas, she'd get them potatoes and put them in there too. Potatoes, she'd get the big onions. All of these are level ups. But right now, I'm just getting you in the game. You know what I mean? You tell me how you would, what you would do to level it up. And then, matter of fact, 
I gotta say this, look, I'm always talking about leveling up. Listen, this right here is just good by itself, just the way it is, folks. Okay, so look, now that you've seen, we didn't hit it with a little bit of this bacon, right? Go ahead, remember we got that Parmesan? So look, now we're just gonna go ahead and start adding this over, just over the top. Tell me what you guys think about that there. Your brain should be working right now, you should be able to smell what I'm cooking right here. You know what I mean? And uh, this right here, these be the level ups, folks. You know what I mean? Uh, everybody did the regular green beans, you know, but this right here, fire. Okay, so look, you guys have seen all of the pictures, you know what I mean, and uh, all of the flybys and all of that. You can see that this right here is right. I'm not finna eat no whole lot out of, out of this because this right here is actually going on my, you know, my Christmas dinner, you know, Christmas dinner table, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and cover this up and put this in the refrigerator. This is something good that you guys can make either the day before or you can make it the day of. Listen, all you gotta do is like, if you make it the day of, let it cool, you can put it in the refrigerator and then maybe like an hour before your guests get there, you can go ahead and heat it up. You know what I mean? Then hit it with a little bit more fresh Parmesan. Now. Earlier I had mentioned that you can uh, use, let's see, you can put onion straws over the top, you can use crumbs, however you want to do it. Listen, a casserole really is just green beans, they fresh green beans, they done in the oven, and it's whatever type of topping you want to put on there, but the most of all, is made in the casserole dish. I like this dish, I think I'm gonna be serving everything in this right here, what you see. You guys let me know what you would do to level up this uh, recipe, what would you add to it or take away from it. With that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say, thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there, listen, there's a channel out here to simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, folks, I'm finna let this cool, I'm finna take me a break, and I'm out. Peace.